Hi everybody and welcome to another tips and tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I'm the Tecla PowerFab application specialist. Uh, today's video will be a short clip but will be very productive because I want to use this opportunity to show you a new function that was just recently released on the service pack number one of the 2021 version of Tecla APM and I'm very confident that this tool will be a, of great help for people in charge of purchasing the materials but also for everyone else to to kind of complement the material status between Trimble Connect with actual information uh, that will help you to know the history of an item without the need to go to the inventory and find out information about it. Since past versions of Tecla APM in production control, you were already able to see some of this information, uh, just in a different way and not with so many details, right? But for example, in this job, uh, in the display, you could add some columns that will show you the actual status of the materials line by line, where you can see if, they, if it was linked to a requisition, on order, on stock, or even if it was already taken from the stock. So that information is already available on the main display of the job. Uh, also, another option was on the input side of the screen, on the bottom right side, uh, there is a rec imp and tfs links options that will show you for any item that you click on the screen if they are linked to any of those different status right if i go here to my beams uh, you can see that this particular beam is linked to the inventory two out of two which will mean that it's either already in stock or sitting in a in a purchase order waiting to be received now in an effort to try to make the information more accessible to you uh, we added the links shortcut right here. So if I, for, for instance, with this piece selected, we said it was two out of two in the inventory. If I click links, I can see that the two of them are not in an order, which means they are received. You can also confirm that by looking at the location in the stock, right? So they were received and into this particular location, this is the PO that was submitted for those items. Uh, this was the delivery date on my yard. There's the bill of lading and the heat number. If you don't see all, all, the whole set of these columns, it's maybe because I have a customized grid. So just remember that you can actually include the columns or remove the columns that you don't need into any of the screens here in Tecla APM. Uh, if I go to a different item, maybe some of these pipes. In this item in particular, you can see that this is six out of six on the requisition. So if I click the links, it will actually show me in which requisition they are being set. So this is very helpful for purchasing managers because I know uh, they sometimes have a hard time remembering which requisition they put certain sequence or things like that. So this will actually just show them uh, real quick where to go and look at it. If I go to a different set of pipes, maybe this is also a requisition. Uh, this right here, it's uh, in inventory. So I again, just like the beams, I can see the, the actual uh, information of the receiving process. If I go to maybe some of the small beams, I know in this job, I already took of those, took some of those from the stock. Uh, so here, for example, this beam, it's been taken from the stock one out of one. If I click the links, it actually showed me the taken from the stock date and, and, and again, all the traceability information that you usually will need to find out. And just to give you one more quick example, let me just go ahead and pull the model interface of this job and wait for Trimble Connect to pop up here in my screen. All right, so it's coming and uh, I'll do this. I'll go ahead and colorize this by material status. So I can see here that there are some uh, some materials that will be uh, not linked, which we, which means, you know, I haven't even started the, the purchasing process. I have some material on our requisition inventory stock and taken from the stock. And obviously I, I have those status is reflected in Trimble Connect, right? So if I check none and I want to see only some items on my requisition, I can just uh, highlight that checkbox right there and then Trimble Connect will be only displaying those items. So if I go and make a selection of all of them or, or use some of those items, I can use the select for model option and that will be actually selecting all the items that I have in the model. And if I click the links, it will actually show me the requisition where all those items are being set, right? And think of this about any of the, all the other status, right? Like inventory and stock, it will show you where those items are, are set in your stock and what's the purchase order, hit number, all that relevant information. So I hope you find this tool very helpful. I think it's going to be very helpful for most of purchasing people. So thank you for watching.